everybody's got to eat. Colin Simba knows a little snack goes a long way. Thank you. I really do appreciate what you guys are doing. I got some candy bars, some combos, and some raisins. Just, you know, showing my gratitude for all these great, brave men and women that are out here, you know, putting their lives on the line for people like me, sitting in my dorm watching it on the TV. Gestures of gratitude, even where you might not expect them. Thank you, gentlemen. Every one of you. Thank you. And they don't go unnoticed. You know, we're from the community, and for and just to have a neighbor say thank you for what you do, it, it makes you feel good. It's been a long haul since Monday for the more than 2,000 military men and women. Some standing guard for long hours, others are on patrol. At all times, Major General Linda Singh says they take their cues from police. So the police are actually doing the arrest when they need to. You know, can we detain folks? Absolutely. But at this point, we're really, you know, in support of them. As long hours turn into longer days, kindness like this reminds them why what they do is so important. I get a little worried, you know, hearing about what happens and seeing some stuff on the news, but then uh, I feel a little bit of ease because I know there are people out here that are really working hard to keep us safe. In terms of exactly how long the National Guard will be here on the ground in Baltimore, I did again talk with the Major General today about that. She says they are waiting to hear those orders from local officials. In Baltimore, Jackie Conjado, WLWT, News 5.